everybody and welcome to a 2015 guinea pig cage tour. So first of all they have a two floored cage and they're bedded on this stuff on the ground. Wood shavings and I get that from Pet Center. The guinea pigs are on the top floor right now because they're just eating their breakfast but that makes it just easier to tour the bottom floor so let's go. Okay so first of all they have this fiddlesticks bridge that I flipped over and it's just so they have a hiding corner and they know that I'm in the room easier so because I'm not in the dark so I, so I underneath I don't know if you can see it very well but I have this little cushion from pets at home and it's actually supposed to be in this um, cozy cup thing but it needs to go in the wash and so does this cushion so I just have the cushion on its own for now and then as a board and breaker um, little chew thing I have this little rectangle and you can get them in different colours in the packet and then inside it just has these this group of treats I think it's stuff like herbs and hay inside of it and I just put it in the cage yesterday so there are a few marks on the side so that's I also have this mineral chew that's good for their teeth and they've chewed a bit of it at the ends trying to get to the treat inside of it as well so this one has another treat inside of it and it's good to wear down their teeth as well so that's this really good treat ball that I find really fun for the guinea pigs so you just put treats or nuggets inside of it and then close it to however hard or easy you want to make it for your guinea pigs and they roll it on oh they've got nugget stains on it but anyway you roll it and the treats come out if they can figure that out it goes all the way down here and there are three circles and if I go inside the cage it has string on this one, a ball in the middle of this one here and then on the bottom one it's string again so it's a pattern. Here they just have a um, hanging tree. Um, here it had willow in the middle of it, it had a big willow ball but they chewed that off and they've also chewed some of this stick off at the bottom that's good anyway because I want them to wear down their teeth so they also have a statue here that I got them for Christmas last year and it's just good all um, year round because it also looks so pretty and they enjoy having a little nibble I then have this corn on the cob um, chew toy and it has a little what I think is an onion ring at the top and Ollie loves having a nibble on it ginger he'll just sniff it so not so much but at least they can chew it if they're feeling bored and it's a boredom breaker so then, yeah. from pets at home they have this little um football hanging up chew toy and um, because they're boys they didn't want to pick the flower one so they have this one and they like to sniff it Wally sometimes chews it and Ginger actually sometimes chews it so and then they just have their ramp going upstairs but so I made the step to the top um, myself because they didn't have the little steps before when I got to the cage they only had these little grooves because this cage is actually for a dwarf rabbit so to make it easier for the guinea pigs to get up I just put steps going up here and it's actually better for them and it's much easier and they go up the cage with such ease and oh my gosh I have to show you this Ollie go drink oh that's a cute business so yes I made these steps myself and I actually have a um making a guinea pig ramp um how to do it tutorial kind of thing um that was my previous video so if you're interested in it go and check yes and i forgot to show you this too it's kind of hiding at the bottom of the um bedding it's just this too that's pretty worn out as you can see the edges are kind of bitten off 
I'm sorry with these edges. Um, before they wouldn't bite it, so I looked at this video that you need to dip it in a fruit or veg. I mean, dip it in um, flavored water, like a water that your veg um, your guinea pigs like. So I did that. So I dipped it in strawberry flavored water that I made. So don't worry, I didn't go to the shop and buy it, but it kind of worked. I guess it looks a bit worn out. So as we go upstairs we have a water bottle and it's a Crystal Deluxe Classic Large Water Bottle Which so, yeah. petals are which? Um, the black, blonde, white one is Ollie and the ginger one is obviously ginger. Here is bedding as well. They have these two willow sticks that I got from pets at home which they chew on. I only put these in yesterday so there aren't many marks on it. See through bowl I got from pets at home and it's really good um, for putting your nuggets in and today they're just on the pets at home normal nuggets. And because there was wag food in the bowl before there's some excess wag food in there but they don't mind that. They like that. I have food. this loofah carrot um, chew. There was another um, green stem thing on it, but they chewed that off and I couldn't use it anymore. You can pull them out so it's easy for them to chew. So there's now that. we'll see Ginger relaxing in the hay. So upstairs is the kitchen area and I top up the hay um, daily. So there's that. Treat. As they haven't had one of these kebabs in a while, they have one of these and they just chew on it but I don't keep this in the cage all the time I'll take it out every two hours maybe so yes that is the end of the video I hope you enjoyed this cage tour um if you have any um requests then all you need to do is comment down in the comment section yes or it's a camera I'm gonna say hello <laughs> so yes comment down in the comment section and I'll be happy to make a video because I love making bye guys videos. Ollie do you want to say bye to you? up Ollie come on say bye bye nah he's not interested but yes bye guys